Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how the P and N trig function block works. I have connected TIA portal to a factory IO scene I made. It's a simple one with a conveyor, a sensor, and a pneumatic pusher. If we go to the main block I made a code that will make the pusher push the box once the sensor is triggered and the box should fall down the ramp. Let's download the programming to the scene and see how it works. As you can see there's a little problem with the coding. To solve this we will have to use the ntrig function block. The ntrig function block works so that it will give a one-shot pulse on the negative side of a signal. So in this case once the box passed by the sensor, it will trigger the pusher. To add an ntrig function block we need to first open up the instructions tab. Under the BitLogic Operations tab we can find the ntrig function block. Just click it and drag it to the rung. Then we need to declare a bit tag for the block. If you make a program using many n and p trig function blocks, I can recommend to make an array of bool and give it a value of as many blocks you will be using. It makes it easier to track all of your n or p trig function blocks. Now that we added our ntrig block, we can download the program and test it out and see how it will differentiate from the previous code. As you can see now the program works as intended. If I now move over my sensor to the other side of the pusher, then I want the sensor to do a one-shot pulse on the positive side of the signal. To do so we will need a p-trig block instead of the n-trig. To change our block to a p-trig we can simply click on the top right side of the block. Then we get a list where we can change it to a positive edge trigger. Let's download the program and see how it works. As you can see the coding works as intended. Thank you for watching this tutorial. 
If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.